Hello, welcome to 3D Drawing for your Model Railway. In the latest series I'm about to start, um, it, it all started really from this photograph that Paul sent me. Um, so we've done a bit of research. These are Geismer, I'm assuming I pronounced that correctly, Geismer, PUMs and PEMs. Um, they're loaded into this back of this wagon. Um, uh, uh, my plan was just to see what information I could find on them um, and then potentially use that to draw them as a, the load of the wagon. Now doing a bit of research, not only would you see these loaded in the back of the wagon being transported to and from site, uh, but you could see these set around engineering uh, work sites, maybe uh, next to the line ready to be used, or maybe even in depots, that sort of area. Um, they're not going to be movable items, uh, clearly, because obviously we're doing an engage, maybe you can scale this up to double O, but They'll, they'll just be you know, items you can place around your depot scene, maybe a bit, bit of line side and then uh, give you a little bit more interest um, and something different to what other people might have. So I spoke to Paul to see if he had any more photographs. Um, unfortunately, he didn't. Um, and you can find more of them online if you want to go and uh, you know, look on places like Flickr and places like that. Um, but Paul also spoke to um, some people on some Facebook forums he's on and we were able to come up with a, a couple of people supplied extra photos. There's some that have been supplied by Derek Running um, and there's a few of these you can see that where they're actually being used and also um, some that were sent in by Geismer themselves. Um, you know, we've got quite a few that are close up and uh, show all the details that we're going to need to be able to model these units. Also, while I was doing some sort of digging around on the internet, I managed to find, um, using this URL at the top here, which I'll, uh, I'll copy and I'll put into the description, this, what looks like a brochure that guys have used. Um, not, not only has it got some nice photos in here, but it also has some descriptive text about the, the use of it. You can see in this nice photo here how this switch, whole complete switch unit is being ready to uh, be slewed across to a place some that's already been already in the main line here. Um, there's a little bit of uh, description about how the units actually work. And the, the good thing about this uh, as well is right at the bottom, we've got two diagrams which have got some basic di dimensions on which we can use to scale our plan. Okay, so if we jump into Fusion now, let's get our canvases uh, imported in. So same as normal, we're gonna insert canvas and then insert from my computer and scroll up, make sure I get the correct folder. And then you can insert that plan onto, pick any one of your um, origin planes, it doesn't really matter. And you can zoom in. Okay, we're looking at the front, so that's the wrong way around, so if we can flip that nice and easy. Get the canvas there, and then... Get horizontal flip to spin that around the correct way. And then we're going to need to calibrate it. So, same as before, so you right click on here, calibrate, and then we'll pick on these two lines here. I'm going for the longest one and then we're going to go for 3000, this is millimetres, uh, divided by 148 for N gauge that I'm going to be using, N scale, UK N scale. Okay, so that's canvas number one imported. And to make sure we get these two lined up as close as possible when we, when we import them, we're going to create a sketch onto that plane. I'm just going to draw in just a rectangle roughly where this roof would be. Not worried too much about getting it correct, it's just drawing a basic shape and then extruding that shape slightly. We better take that round. I'm going to extrude, it doesn't really matter which way you do it. I'm going to go symmetrical. Um, just extrude that out a little bit like that. Uh, 
Okay, so essentially, I could, what I could do, in fact, if I edit this and just try and drag these to the correct width of these two uprights here, and then if we do um, a set plane, I want to do a mid plane from the two side faces there. And then we can insert our canvas. Make sure we get the correct one to be that one. And we're going to insert it onto that face there. Rotate that. Okay, and we get the plane to edit canvas, zoom in, and sorry, not edit, calibrate canvas, zoom in and then hit that point and that point there, and that's two, 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 five, 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 five. Okay, so you can see it's zoomed quite out. What I'm going to try and do is just line this up now with the roof here. So edit the canvas and then use the, you can either go up down using these two arrows here, or you can just grab hold of this square in the middle and then drag it around so it sits on the top and do the white face. Zoom in a little bit. Now it's not going to be exactly the same because obviously the width of these might be different to the width going in the opposite direction. What I'm trying to do is get the, the square at the top here to sit roughly where the roof is joined there. Okay, and obviously the plans will be at slightly different sizes and heights because obviously the, the picture on them is at different positions. Okay, so now that I've got those in, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove that body completely because we, it's of no use to us. So just don't do delete because it will still stay there within the history. We're just going to completely remove and we're back to just having the canvases and nothing but the canvases. And that's going to be our starting point for, for drawing these um, units. Um, I hope you're able to, to follow along with the series. If you have any questions, by all means, please leave a comment in, in the section below. And then like and subscribe to make sure you're updated when the next videos go up for this series. Thanks for watching.